This is something many of you know already. But many don't see God for who he really is. They see a pimp. A pimp with an enormous, infinite ego that needs to be fed or else something bad happens. Because they project the narcissism of their earthly rulers onto God. And that's what's going on in religion. In religion, the community wants to appease their own narcissism that they project onto God. That's how they do it. So when you talk about Christ with them, you are, they perceive as if you're talking about their narcissism that they've projected onto God. And when you, as a believer, you walk by faith, now that this narcissism that they project onto God, they'll now project onto you, and because you are close, they will attack you. That's what's going on. Just realize that that's how they view God. That's how they view the Most High. They don't see Him for who He is. Because they have no interest in seeing Him for who He is. They want a trash can to dump all their darkness upon. They don't want a Lord who is secure and who provides. Oh, let me re repeat that. They want a trash can to dump all their darkness upon or pass it into. They don't want a Lord who is secure and safe. A Lord who is secure, safe and who provides, they can't handle that because that's abundance. And abundance goes against that black and white scarcity thinking of theirs. So when you pray, make sure you don't pray in agreement with their black and white thinking, as religion taught you, as pagans do. Pray in abundance. You are a partner of Christ. He is your Lord, and because you are in Him, you walk in His strength. So you are His instrument. You are His living, walking instrument in the here and now. So you are relevant for the here and now. Absolutely. So, unlearn seeing the Most High as this angry, narcissistic pimp who needs to be, oh dear, who needs to be sucked up to, to feel at ease. Because that's how demons are. That's how reprobate humans are. Learn to walk by faith by relying on Him 100%. You are His living instrument in the earth now. So approach him as a partner in his mission. Be at peace.